for the election of the Member of Parliament for the Halton constituency held on the 8th June 2017. I, the undersigned, being the Acting Returning Officer at the election of a Member of Parliament for the Halton constituency, give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate at the election is as follows. Bate Ryan Stephen Robert, Liberal Democrats, 896. Lloyd Matthew, the Conservative and Unionist Party, 10,710. Riddicon Glynn, UK Independence Party, 1,488. Turton Vic, Independent, 309. Twig, Derek, Labour Party, 36,115. The number of ballot papers rejected were as follows. For want of an official mark, none. For voting for more candidates than the voters entitled to, 23. Writing or marking by which the voter could be identified, 6 being unmarked or wholly void for uncertainty, 56, and rejected in part, none. Total rejected ballot papers were 85. And I do hereby declare that the said Derek Twig is duly elected for the Halton constituency. Thank you, uh, David. Uh, first of all, can I put on record my thanks to David Parr and, as a returning officer and all his staff who worked on the election and run the election. It's obviously gone very, very smoothly throughout, and I know a lot of hard work has been put in for everyone, not least of course tonight as well. So thank you very much for all that effort and ensuring we had a very straightforward election. Uh, I also want to thank uh, my agents, Dan Hill, and my, and my campaign team, Andrea and Phil, and of course my wife, my children and my wider family for the support that they gave me as well. Uh, I'm really pleased with the results, as you can probably tell. Uh, it's a tremendous result in terms of the numbers of people who voted out and turned Labour. But before I want to say a few more words politically, I just want to say my thoughts tonight are also with all those who were affected by the terrorism that took place in our cities in Manchester and in London. Of course, just before the election, we had the terrorist attack uh, in, in Westminster itself. Uh, and are my thoughts and prayers are with them. Clearly, there will be many questions to be asked about security in the coming weeks and months, but at this point, I just want to make it clear that I do still think of those people who've been in some way uh, affected, whether it's they've lost loved ones or they've been injured or traumatised by it. But it is about our democracy, and despite that, uh, we continue. Democracy might have its failings sometimes, but there's not a better system, and I think it's absolutely essential that we defend our democracy and ensure that we continue to have elections. And then I want to put on record my thanks as well to the police and security services for the work they do. It is quite an amazing night here in Halton uh, that we have had such a tremendous result for the Labour Party. And when I've been doing, uh, talking on the doorsteps to the various people during the election, they've told me that there's strong support for the Labour Party. The fact that the Labour MP, working closely with the Labour Council, has delivered and is delivering things for Halton. As we can see from the Mersey Gateway, right across down to what's happening in our schools and in our hospitals and, of course, various, various sort of things that happened in, in, within Halton itself. And that's about working together in partnership. That's what I think people have recognised here. We've never, Labour has never took the vote for granted here. People say, oh, you, it's, a, it's a safe Labour seat. We have never, ever treated it that way and never will. And the campaign that went in, the work that's put in by my campaign team and all the Labour members and all the volunteers who put hours and hours of time in, knocking on doors, talking to people on street stalls, showed that we do not take it for granted. No, we will work hard here to earn the votes of the people of Halton because they deserve the very best and that's what we intend to give them. Now, we don't know what the result's going to be tonight. We've had a very interesting exit poll and no one knows whether that's accurate or not at this stage. But clearly, matters have moved a great deal from the start of this election when the Conservatives called this election. And they called it when there was no need for it to be called in the first place. Theresa May said a few weeks before there'd be no election and then called the election for purely party political gain, not for the interest of the country. The Labour Party had already said that it, were, it voted for Article 50 and that we were obviously going down the road of Brexit. It was about getting the best deal. 
And I think we've, the, the Tories have been found out tonight in, this, in, in the results you've seen so far. Whatever it, it, it will be at the end, it is nothing near what they thought they would get. Uh, and I think there's going to be some very interesting conversations taking place uh, across the political spectrum, not least in the Conservative Party over the coming weeks. But my priorities will continue to be what they always have been, and that is making sure that the people of Halton have a very strong voice in Westminster. So I'm out there fighting to make sure we get the best possible deal, whether it's resources or other things within Halton, working with the Labour Council to deliver that. Clearly, education, health, transport, environment, they're key issues for us, and I'll make them a priority. But also security and defence is going to be one of my priorities, which it always has been, to continue, particularly what's given, what's taking place in the recent weeks. So we'll continue with those properties, listening to people, listening to constituents, and doing whatever I can to help people. So I just want to say thank you very much for the support I received for the people of Holton. I'll put on thanks for the fact that the people of Holton have voted with me and with such an overwhelming majority and with the confidence that they have. And I will repay that. And I, I believe in the common good. I believe in doing the best I can and making a difference to the people of Holton. And I will continue to do that. So thank you very much for your support.